Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Breakfast Club. It is episode 22. I is checked. it actually it episode is. 22? Okay. <laughs> I, made, I made sure to check. <laughs> Seems the last few episodes that my brain just... Uh, they, they're just kind of blending together. It's yeah. summer, you got other things on your mind, you don't want to be inside. You other things it. are a priority. <laughs> so, for those of you who noticed, who follow us on Instagram, you will see that I followed through with my promise last week, and I did better. Ah, yes, the questions. I, I posted the questions plenty in advance. Did you get However, your receiving report on time? I did not. Ah. So, well. <laughs> technically, I guess, your Tyson promise did I evolve. follow through on the Tyson <laughs> promise. <laughs> in that regard, I didn't get the receiving report, so yeah, I don't know what came I know. in. I, get, uh, I, can go, I guess I can go do that. <laughs> I'm sure you have an idea. Yeah. Be good enough. What, what have we got in this last week? Uh, it wouldn't even be on the receiving report anyway. Uh, we got in Choate, which Excuses. is you know, a few. <laughs> uh, Choate is going to encompass a lot of our uh, shotgun accessories, different extensions for Mossberg 500s, 590s, and all the other actually different uh, shotguns from Mossberg, as well as Remington 870s and all those guys. Right on. Bunch of different stocks for, again, Mossbergs and shotguns. Yeah, we like, haven't had we hadn't been had a shipment of Choate in a long time. No, it's we? been quite a while. Yeah. Uh, so we actually got in a pretty decent stocking order of it all, and a bunch of SKS stocks, 1022 mm -hmm. stocks, all those different folders, and et cetera, et cetera, all the different yep. ones. They don't, they're really good gear. Uh, so that's all in. Should be on the website. Maybe. Yes, no. Maybe so. There potentially could be a link below. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yet. If I remember to put it in there, it will be. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got a big shipment of Mossberg again. Yep. We just got them last week. They're moving. Um, yeah. So I had somebody actually, I don't know if these will be on what came in, but I had someone inquiring about like 223, yes. basic 223 rifles. And They're all on there. Mossberg is what came to mind. So I was yeah. like, yeah, for sure. Hop on the website, you're going to send a yeah. link. And I'm like, oh, they're not here. They're here now. <laughs> so yeah, we should have a restock of that. Which... Yeah. Uh, and those are the ones actually, the, we got the Mossberg Patriots in 223, and we got a couple different other ones as well. Something like the Remington American, or not the Remington American, the Ruger yes. American. It's from America. <laughs> so the Ruger American, which actually takes the AR-15 style magazine. Okay. Those are in stock as well. So you can use up all your, you know, AR yeah. mags that are sitting there collecting dust right now. Use up all that ammo. So yep. that's an option to, to do that. Oh, what else do we get? I gave you a bunch of ideas. Wildcats. Um, Wildcats, yes, the Winchester Wildcats, yeah. finally. That's so two... this, was that a SHOT Show release? That was two SHOT Shows ago. Oh, two SHOT Shows, yes. okay. Yes, two SHOT Shows. We've been waiting for this. <laughs> okay. And last SHOT Show, they're like, oh yeah, totally, they're coming out, it's crazy, it's so backward. <laughs> no, we need them. <laughs> okay, so the Wildcat is a 22? It's 22 semi-auto magazine fed, really cool, because it's super cool. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the entire thing is uh, absolutely awesome. The stock is really modular. You can take the trigger group out and everything, clean it up really easy. Uh, maintenance is dead simple. Got a nice trigger on them from right. what I have heard because we haven't had them. Right. Accuracy is good. So oh. it's a uh, really inexpensive because if you look at like Ruger pricing right now. Yeah, it's going crazy. Speaking what? of which, we got Ruger 1022s in as well. Cheapest ones <laughs> you'll find in Canada. Boom. <laughs> yeah, the basic 1022 gray synthetic stock. Uh, with iron sights, not any target model or anything like that. It is going to be the least expensive one you're going to find. Um, we've got those in stock, got plenty of them, and the Wildcats came in, which are even cheaper than those. Nice. Which is awesome. So, rock and roll. It's the time of year, you know, I was just telling them. We well, need yeah. to do a video where I can bring my 22 out because I haven't, I don't think I have shot my. 1022 in like I'm gonna say multiple years, which is ah. sad. I know. Well, you live but... in town, and if you actually like shot anything in town, yeah. the neighbors would probably get upset. You it could... wouldn't be good. I just got new neighbors. There too, is a so big I yellow mean... bird on your neighbor's stoop. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> Not a real bird. <laughs> Bird. It's an ornamental bird, but yes, it it's is quite large. large. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. No, uh, so ten, tons of uh, 22 My other neighbor will get a kick out of that. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> uh, lots of accessories for the 1022s as well from Cho, like their stocks and everything. So, yeah, there, we did get in a lot this week. Um, and Mossberg was pallets of guns this time. So it was yeah. really good. We got a lot in. All right. Right on. Yeah. Okay. So uh, because it is summer and we're allowed to go camping some places. Yeah, well, they're mostly <laughs> open. Yeah, yeah, every campground I know of is open. Okay, so yeah. we thought we would feature BioLite, which Bio not just for camping, but definitely a purpose that it could serve well in. 
And if you're a survivalist, if you have that um, mentality, uh, preppers, anything like that, yep. um, BioLite's actually an awesome product because we'll go over a couple of the different ones, but you basically have either energy by fire yep. or by sunlight, which is also fire. <laughs> <laughs> so energy by fire. <laughs> so uh, let's start with the, I guess the uh, solar panel light system. Solar home kit. Solar home 620. Yeah. Bam. So solar home 620 comes with a control panel, as you see here, which does kaboom. That's a bright light. It is a bright light. It has three settings. Uh, the brightest light is 100 lumen, so that's going to, anything brighter than that would be a little bit ridiculous <laughs> in a home, like a 400 to 500 lumen bright light. You wouldn't be able to see the panel. <laughs> So 100 lumen light built into that with an AM FM radio. So, Which we tested accidentally already this morning. <laughs> yes, did not mean to, turned on, very loud. <laughs> Has USB charging port, so once you get this thing running, you have it hooked up to your solar panel. Uh, one day of continuous sunlight, so anywhere that it's in sunlight at all times throughout the day, you're gonna get either 14 hours of low light, 30 hours of the radio, and I think the top tier was four and a half hours of your ridiculously bright 100 lumen running yeah. all four lights, which is <laughs> up there. Yep. It has two <laughs> hanging lights, the light on the panel, and it also has one motion light in there that uh, we didn't set up because I don't really need a motion light going off every five <laughs> seconds. So, But that's neat. I mean... Oh yeah, like um, power goes out and that automatically can kick in. Yep, yeah. and then so it's only going to be on as needed. So it's going to last even longer, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. so it's really cool. Um, that's a quick setup you can do with a cabin if you're out camping, honestly. Yeah. It's easy enough. You just yeah. got wires running around the trees everywhere all yeah. everywhere. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Camp Stove 2 bundle, which there is actually quite a few different ones. We, yeah. We're going to have to reorder a few because we have sold a handful of them that we're out of now. They actually have a pizza dome. So Yeah, I'm curious about that when you said that. And I kind of want to look at that. <laughs> Similar concept, but instead of like cooking normal food when you're camping, it's good for pizza. <laughs> like pizza yeah <laughs> so the camp stove 2 bundle uh, essentially what it is it's a thermoelectric motor built within uh, a, like it's a thermoelectric motor built in it has a battery built into it as well so you'll be able to charge your phone anything like that you will create power and when you get the fire going it actually has a motor built into it too so when the fire gets going a thermoelectric generator yeah essentially powers the fan, creates a more efficient and cleaner burn within the, the housing of it. So yeah. once you get the fire going, it takes care of itself and it will yep. burn cleaner, hotter, and without smoke, essentially. And generate energy for you to do things like charge yeah. devices, right? Yeah, you can yeah. charge, it has USB, so you can charge your phones, any kind of USB device, and then, you know, the actual purpose of it, cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the real purpose and of it. And it has a light built in too, so say yeah. you're, you know, doing something at night or low light conditions. You can. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and you can do everything so you can keep an eye on it. Um, yeah. Easy to light, get going. It comes with a kettle as well. So you can basically, they. this is a very subjective statement, but they said you could fit four burgers <laughs> on its grill, which they don't know the size I, of my burgers. I was just going to say, like... <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> maybe two. Yeah. So if you have like the proper portion, which is nothing... <laughs> Sliders, four sliders. Yeah, you can fit four sliders. <laughs> you say on. that though, we haven't, I didn't have it unpackaged it. I have before, oh, yeah. Okay. And those skewers are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. It's a really cool kit. And they yeah. they also have their own, like, oh, yeah. their own pallets and fuel, so. Uh, but really, you can burn anything in it, and once it's going, you can throw pine cones, whatever you want. Yeah. Anything that is flammable, uh, it Keep burns it up pretty quick, and it doesn't leave a ton of, like, it doesn't leave any charred messes. It burns really efficiently, so it's really awesome. Yeah, so I'll definitely include a link to all these products. Yeah, the other one that we don't have here is the fire pit because it's monstro. Like it's just oh, okay. this massive thing which you're actually you could probably cook four burgers on. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big fire pit which actually you can throw entire logs into it. Oh, Similar really? concept. It does have uh, battery storage, so you're able to charge any devices. Same idea. You can run your lights on it, um, but it's just way bigger. Yeah. Would be hard to fit in the frame. Yeah. It, well, it's a it's a fire pit that charges, so it's actually meant to use as a fire pit, not to. Oh, call. okay. So your fire, it's a portable fire pit you can use, and yep. it'll charge your phones. Which don't set your phone on the fire pit when it's going. <laughs> not a good idea. It will charge it Pro once. Pro tip, right there. <laughs> Pro tip, yeah. Pro tip from Ty. <laughs> don't put your phone on fire. <laughs> Anyways, check it out. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, if you want to. If you're in the area and want to come see them in person, definitely come down to the store. We have them yeah. on display, so. Yeah, it's yeah. all in the showroom. It's it's awesome gear, and especially now if you're in summer, you can go camping or, yeah. you know, 
prepping, anything like that. And it's not bad to have a solar powered. No, it's backup. actually something I'm very ill prepared for. Like every time in the summer when the power goes out, thankfully I have this for the flashlight. Yeah. But usually, because <laughs> if I didn't, I couldn't even tell you where a flashlight is in my house. I don't even know if I have one. Like that's. I have a TLR1 mounted to the <laughs> pistol, but I don't really feel like clearing my house when the power goes out. <laughs> There you go. So yeah, definitely not a bad idea to have some of this equipment around. Um, yeah, you it, know. All, it all comes back down. I just need the equipment so I can take everyone else's. <laughs> right. <laughs> sure. No, but this is awesome. Like uh, just being prepared for it. Like it's yeah. this seriously. Just and having an have a little radio, radio like that. Yeah, that's if you you're have on, that out on the deck. Yeah, exactly. It's with a little the, light. It's like, a portable radio. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, deck apparel here. You get your lights yeah. hanging, you got your radio. I have been it's meaning awesome. to re-outfit my decks. So well, maybe. <laughs> <Violet. laughs> Alright, anyways, moving on. Um, as I said, I got that question out on Instagram last night, so we're going to go through a few of those. Quite a few in, so we might not be able to get through all of them. Okay. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, so... I can find them. You are ill-prepared for this. Well, the problem is... <laughs> I don't have service back here, so when I go to open it on Instagram, it doesn't load, and then I remember that I took a screenshot and I have to go back and look. So. Ah. All right, question one. How long are transfers taking right now? Provincially dependent. Yeah. Ontario, anywhere from two days to six months. <laughs> and that's not a joke. We no, only had not. one that took six months. But that was even before all this, anyway. Yeah. Uh, the Western provinces aren't bad. Like Manitoba West, uh, anywhere from a day to a week, two weeks. Kind of in that Probably ballpark. like a seven to ten days on average yeah okay. it's, it's not terrible um it's the slowest we've been yeah in, in manitoba yeah we're, uh yeah manitoba is usually next day so uh ontario and quebec sorry yeah. <laughs> they're they're horribly delayed uh so if you're ordering anything just be aware be aware of that the transfers can take a mm -hmm. substantial amount of time yeah but, and the eastern provinces not bad yeah they're they've I would say they're a little bit worse than the western provinces right now. Like Maybe just two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Two week area. Yeah. That's yeah. We don't have a ton of info on that. You can you know. It's all completely random. We'll have Ontario transfers go through in a day, and it's like, why did that one go through yeah. in a day, but the rest didn't? <laughs> <There you go. laughs> okay. Got a budget of eight hundred. Best handgun and why? Uh, depends on what you're doing, obviously. <laughs> As we always say. Always. It's a, lot, a lot of variables. So yes. we're just gonna take a few and run with them. <laughs> I think this is maybe season one we talked about yeah. this. Uh, I like polymer striker fired 9 mil pistols because they're cheap, effective, and honestly, they're simple and easy to yeah. use. Accessories they're a workhorse, are easy. like they last, yeah. they are durable. 800 bucks, I'd say go with a Canic. That's what I am gonna go with here yeah. shortly, maybe. I like Canics <laughs> because it's way less than 800 bucks, so you can get a bunch of mags and probably some gear with it too, because they started around. You could get yourself dollars. set up with your handgun and rig for probably 800 bucks. Yeah, and they all they already come with a holster. It's not the greatest holster, but yeah. it comes with a holster already. Yeah. So you can buy some spare mags, get a better holster, a better belt, and you're rocking and rolling. If that's what you're into. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, revolvers. Pietas also start at 300 fun. bucks. Yeah, but like, his budget's 800. So like the best gun for 800 eight hundred bucks around that. Yeah, you could like totally Gucci out a couple like lower cost guns. Okay. Like what I could, if he wants a bear gun? Ooh, bear gun. Like a bear gun? You mean like bear I'm, defense gun? <laughs> <laughs> I'd no, say a 10 mil block. I, okay, a stock gun, <laughs> a gun out of box. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Well, well, give box. me a minute here. I need, yeah. <laughs> I need to submit another question. We'll 800 bucks is like, uh, that's a, a different price range because at 800 bucks you I feel can like get... that's a tough price range. Well, the it's SFX not a common... is 800 bucks. SFX SIG? No, the Canic SFX. Oh, Canic SFX. So that's, you get your, the it's optics ready okay. and it comes with everything. It's a nice longer okay. slide. So that's, that's, that's an option too. Probably the best one you can get. You can get the TP9, which is like the $500 one. Okay. Uh, Glocks are all with kind of in that price yeah, range. Yeah, that's true. Going for a Glock. Glock's a Glock's a Glock. Yep. So they're... just depends what caliber you want. Yeah, three fifty seven sig, forty five gap. <laughs> Not those ones. I'd say stick nine, <laughs> nine mil. Yeah. It's cheap. Uh, yeah, that would really be it. If you're going into revolvers, uh, we are gonna have some options right away. I'm excited for that video. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep we'll keep you 
Well, well yeah, I'm not going to say much about that one until they're here. I don't even know what he's talking about, so yeah, clearly. It's going to be fun. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done, yeah. There's some revolvers coming. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that after, though. Okay. Okay. I yeah, that's I'll, a good start. I'll say Canic TP9 SFX. Right. It's right at that $800 mark. It's an awesome gun. Great trigger. Super reliable. Yeah, there you go. Bam. All right. <laughs> Are you guys wearing pants? <laughs> no? Yes. Oh. Always Are we supposed to wear pants? <laughs> Is that a requirement for these uh, shows? Would it make you any less comfortable <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't wearing pants? Just stop. Wearing, what if I was wearing shorts? What if I was wearing pants? <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> Thank you for some comic relief. I laughed at that one when I saw it this morning. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Actually, pants are a requirement of the dress code. <laughs> so, ye uh, officially, yes. <laughs> All right, uh, 12 gauge shotguns with removable chokes, are they good to go to use? Um, we haven't talked about this in a recent episode, but nothing has changed since the last time we've talked about it. There have been no changes. Nothing has been changed to the OIC, the way it's written. Uh, we've also been going, given no directive from any governing body to change anything that we're doing. So yes, they're still available. However, the wording of the OIC is still problematic. So we don't have a clear answer on that one either. No, uh, they're bad, but buy them. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yes, no, maybe so. It's, I, yeah. As soon as you receive anything more clear than that, you guys will be the first to know, but yep. that's all we got right now. Stupid OSC. <laughs> Why is Andrea the way that she is? What an excellent question. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, take a guess who asked that question. Who? <laughs> who asked that one? And like, uh, probably it, a very smart, bright young man. What does it even mean? <laughs> How am I? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I should have asked that question. <laughs> Would you like to answer it? Do you want to take this one? No, no, no please feel free to uh, explain to everybody why you are the way that you well, are. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> Did you give me that receiving report? Oh, no, you didn't. Right. Why right. am I the way that I am? <laughs> oh, oh, crap, I lost the picture. Okay. Um, when can we expect you to re-up your FX9 inventory? Uh, well, if you have not placed a back order with either us or one dealer. of the stocking dealers, you are looking at eight to infinity months. <laughs> so there are quite a few back orders that have accumulated, um, which is great. Lots of interest in the rifle. However, yeah. it means that at this point, if you're looking to get one in your hands, you might be waiting a while. Yeah. Uh, May was a very busy month uh, for FX nines. So you're basically looking eight plus months and on if you don't have an ordering yet. Make sure to double, like, double check with all the stocking yep. dealers on them because we they don't might know. not take back orders. Right. Who knows? We don't know how everybody else is handling those orders. So Yeah. So check in everywhere, you know, kind of figure out what they're doing. Uh, yep. But if it's a new order and you're just kind of winging it, you're eight months and on. So Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how do we request a product? I'm looking for enhanced charging handle FX9. Thanks. Well, phone, email, carrier pigeon. Uh, <laughs> you can come out here with a courier. Whatever way, smoke signals can work, but on a windy day, you might get mixed up. The skew, the skew for it is F-R-O-E-C-H. Contact our sales team if you have a specific question. Our pigeon fans here is waiting at the top of the hill at the coop. I'm going to come to work one day and there's going to be a pigeon in here. Yes, there will be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you ever have any questions regarding purchases of any sort, just get in touch with our sales team. Like yeah. Ty said, you can email sales at wolverinesupplies.com. You can call 204-748-2454. You, you can, can fax us. You, you could fax us. Do you remember the number? 204-748-1805. Uh, Correct. Bam. Or you wow. can use live chat. Yeah, live chat. Um, it's a quick way to ask a simple question, you know. All the enhanced charging handles for the FX9 specifically are on order. We're back yep. ordered right now, but next shipment you should have them. We're a lot, so. Yeah. Yeah. Place back order and rock and roll. There you go. Um, where was I? Oh, what's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite attachment for 22 rifles? Perhaps the 1022, for example. Pause. Do you guys know? Can you just show the picture of it? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it's going to be a Surefire uh, Scout 200 lumen weapon light. <laughs> it's the same attachment he puts on everything. He even With optional pressure pad. <laughs> what did you have it on? It was like the shoulder stock for the Canic? Yes. <laughs> that was 
a great, like, the Surefire Scout Light is like the best one. It's 200 yeah. lumen, not crazy. It's perfect. It's got good battery life, pressure pad. So uh, just to that, get outside of your comfort zone, what would be some other attachments? That, uh, for a 1022, yeah. very little actually. I was going to say, I was trying to think, like, obviously an optic of any sort you're going to want to put on there. Yeah, if you're not running irons, uh, an optic and a lightweight optic and a very mm -hmm. simple optic. I, when growing up, I used a fixed three power. I think I have a three. Pushnell 3 to 9 by 40 on my 10 to 2. A basic, yeah. basic optic. Yeah. And I wouldn't really hang anything heavy off of it because it's a lightweight carbine right. that you're going to be walking around in the pastures shooting gophers or, you know, planking on the range. So why make it heavy? You probably want a good sling. A decent sling, yeah. Uh, yeah. A good sling. Actually, a really good sling because they do have, depending on your model, they mm -hmm. do come with uh, swivels. Yeah. And uh, Magpul makes her RS1 sling, which, mm -hmm. awesome sling if you have sling loops because it's like, 30 bucks. Yeah. Magpul quality, comes with all the attachments, and you can upgrade it down the road if you wanted to. So yep. check out the RS1, because that's an awesome sling. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And actually, Blue Force. Uh, yes. We got those hunting slings from Blue Force. Yes. That's another one. Those They're are a good line. Super and we don't talk about enough. We should. No. Yeah. We should definitely look at Blue Force. Okay, so when we do our 1022 video, we'll put a Blue Force, Blue Force. on <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, last question that we have time for here is, I have a pair of Ordnance 1911 in 45 cal. Will any 1911 mag work or do I need one from Para? No, you don't need one from Para. Uh, you won't find one from Para. And any 1911 magazine should work. Should. It's 1911, who knows? Strange things happen, happened, but any standard 1911 eight round 45 ACP magazine would work. Make sure you don't get an officer's model because those are the short ones. <laughs> So get the regular ones, eight and on for okay. a 45, and it should work as long as you're talking about the Para 1911 and not the Para Double Stack 45, which you're never going to find mags for those. Okay. So, there you go. <laughs> as long as it's a single stack 45, any 1911 mag should work. All right. Okay, well, thanks for your questions, guys. That was good. Now, what are we going to do today? We are going to have our first TAC fit. TAC fit. It's like CrossFit. <laughs> No, but it's cool. not. <laughs> like we said last week, we were going to try to do something fun here and get out and do some active yes. active training. It's summer. Let's get outside. Yeah. Let's get some shooting. Incorporate but some shooting drills. I'm going to burn move. off my quarantine 20. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can put a number on it. I've just been sitting at home. <laughs> Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Yeah. Just sitting there drinking beer and well, doing so nothing. I don't even know what the plan is. What is the plan? Uh, we're going to do a quick drill. It's okay. going to be really simple. And basically, it's going to involve cardio, a 200 meter gong, my 6'5 okay. Creedmoor, okay. and probably some burpees, some push ups, <laughs> and a variety of other exercises 50 meters apart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we got some distance in between, and I've actually made, I went out of my way to make the rifle as heavy as possible. Oh, we will weigh it, and I will put those specs <laughs> in, the, uh, in the video. That's you need not even a fair. <laughs> So you know, basically, you start in one position, you gotta work your way to the other position with the rifle, get to that position, do your exercise, hit the gong, get back to the other position, hit What's the gong What's your anticipated again. time frame? Anywhere between two to five minutes. Oh, okay, that's I'm okay. guessing. It shouldn't Probably be like that. five. <laughs> the shooting portion of this isn't gonna be bad. A 200 meter shot isn't a difficult shot, but once you're completely out of energy and you're huffing and puffing, that's where it gets a little bit harder, so. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All Ooh, right, fun. well, uh, we'll have probably some clips in here, but I'm going to also try to maybe put the full video on a different playlist, uh, just so if any of you guys want to follow along, you can do the workout. The Tac Fit series. Yeah. I want, uh, yeah, we got it. This is a very simple drill. Uh, you don't need to be on a range to do it either. If you have a nice plot yeah. of land or anything uh, that you're able to do it on, we want to see everyone else, see if you can beat yeah. our times. <laughs> it's not going to be very hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's start off Tac Fit. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget about us. <laughs>